Hello, I'm Tom Schwaller, Technical Product Manager at the Cloud Native Business Unit of VMware. Today, I'm going to take a look at the concept of an etcd cluster, which is a very important one for Kubernetes. Why are we using an etcd cluster in Kubernetes? Because we need a very reliable, highly distributed key value store. That's how Kubernetes is staving its intended state. In normal situation, you have a cluster, let's say, of three etcd nodes, etcd1, etcd2, and etcd3. Of course, they're all connected to this network here. and can talk to the Kubernetes master where you have the API server running, either as a process, as a container, um, or whatever way you want to have it running there. The API server is the only component in Kubernetes which actually talks to the etcd cluster. And there we save the intended states of the objects you want to create. So, Let's take a look at what that means, a uh, distributed key value store. First of all, we have a key value store. In this case, etcd. There are other ones, but etcd is, I would say, the standard one which Kubernetes is using. So what does that mean, having a key and a value? A key and a value. In our case, of course, this is information which is uh, going to be used by Kubernetes. That could be uh, where a pod is uh, booted up or other information. But to give you an idea what that means in, in more practical terms, it could be, for example, the temperature of a city on this planet. The, the first question, of course, you have to answer, how do we describe the, the location? We, we could use many different uh, mechanisms. In this case, as an example, I just take, let's say, the country, the state, California, for example, Palo Alto, and I want to know the temperature and the value is 100 degree Fahrenheit. It could be another one, for example, US, uh, also California, San Francisco, temperature, eighty degree Fahrenheit. And as a third example, we take uh, European Union, Germany, Munich, the temperature, and that could be maybe five degrees Celsius. You see here we have the key and the value. And the etcd cluster actually distributes this information across this cluster in a highly reliable, reliable way. And you can enter and read the data by a RESTful API or by some command line tools. And the API server, which as I said, is saving its intended state in this cluster is actually exactly doing that. In the next session, I will then explain how the API server and all the other components actually using this concept. Thank you for your time and see you in the next session.